Kirk Schatz, and I live in the third ward. I'm medically not supposed to be here today because of the events on over this weekend. A, a police officer shoved his knee in my head and gave me a concussion. I'm supposed to be resting, but instead I'm spending the weekend driving my friends to the hospital. Driving the people I love to the hospital after they've been injured by GRPD and they put out a statement saying that no one was hurt. The doctor, I've had seven concussions before this one. The doctor told me, if you get another concussion, you could die. I am out here in these streets because of what GRPD is doing. My family is begging me to stop engaging, to stop coming out to these protests because my life is in danger. I could be, because they increase violence every time. They can increase their violence against the people I love. And you sit here. Where is the action? Commissioner Lanier, you told us to join the police department. How am I supposed to join a police department that sexually assaulted me because I'm transgender? I don't want to share that in a room full of people. But you push me to that. You tell us to join the same department that brutalizes us week after week. My friend... <laughs> My friend has contusions on his ribs. I watched GRPD pull one of my friend's arms out of their sockets and press his face into the concrete. Where is the action? Where is the justice? I'm supposed to go to the Oversight and Protection Committee so that GRPD can once again find itself having done nothing wrong. This is escalating. They are targeting black leadership. They haven't since the very beginning. And you tell us to respect officers. But what you really mean is you want our silence. You want our silence in these meetings. You want us to be silent when people use racial slurs up here and you don't kick them out. You didn't kick them out until we responded and then you criticize us for responding. Shame on every single one of you. Oh, no, he's cool. That shows how much you care about racism in this community. And the safety of our community members. Where is the justice? You tell us to be respectful in here because you want people to be safe. How am I supposed to feel safe when the very people that are constantly assaulting the people I love, the people in my community, are here in this room? How am I supposed to bear being in the same room as them? And yet you tell us that we need to be respectful because of people's safety.